Welcome back to Gamer Grub. You want something delicious? Sure you do. So let's make something delicious. Let's do one of the mini takes on a classic. Macaroni and cheese. Macaroon. Parmesan cheese. Salt. Pepper. Butter. Panko breadcrumbs. Olive oil. And what? Let's get started. First, set your oven to 400 degrees. Then we're gonna need to boil about a liter and a half of water. Yeah. Boil it. After you boil the water, just make pasta like you would normally do, except for leave it a little underdone because it's going to continue to cook in the oven. Speaking of pasta, we're gonna need about 448 grams of it, which is this entire package. We're gonna need 170 grams of shredded Parmesan cheese, half a stick of butter, which is about 60 grams, and about 30 grams of breadcrumbs or panko crumbs. Use flavored breadcrumbs if you like. I sure as hell am. Go ahead and just put this together because it's all gonna go in the same area anyway and just Mix it up and such and well, that's about right. Water's done. Like I said, cook it a little less than you normally would because uh, it's going to continue to cook in the oven. Uh, speaking of the oven, we need to get our cooking vessel old. That's what the olive oil is for. If you have spray oil, just use that. Oh, that's too much oil. Oh well, get a paper towel and just oil that up so that way the stuff don't stick to it. Out of this, we need about a third of it we need to melt. And the other two thirds we're just going to uh, cut up and kind of dab on to the macaroni itself. So I said about a third of it. That's about a third. Be sure to keep an eye on your macaroni so it doesn't boil over. Let's go ahead and just cut this up into little dollops or whatever. That way it's ready when we need it. You really only need this to kind of uh, coat the macaron so that way uh, it doesn't burn in the oven. So, uh, I mean, it also adds flavor, but, but you know. Pasta is done. So you want it like a little less than al dente. That's what you want it to be at, roughly. Drain it. Shake it out to get as much of the water out as you can. You'll lose some noodles. It's fine, collateral damage. Close enough, pour it in. Let's get the rest. Get out of there, pasta. Shake it, 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 shake it like a Polaroid picture. All right, butter, 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 deliciousness. I actually think I accidentally did twice the amount of macaron, but eh, whatever, I'm sure it'll still be delicious. Oh, before we put the cheese, we got a pepper, pepper to taste. I like stuff peppery, delicious. All right, pour, pour this, pour this cheese on all of it, all of it, quite literally. <coughs> wow! <sighs> Pour it all on. Spread it out. Spread it out. Just, just like that. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Pour the butter on top. Yeah. I wish I had a spritzer. That'd be even cooler. But you know, whatever. Just pour that butter on top just to give it a nice, mm, mm, nice golden brown. Mm, yeah. Later. <coughs> Nothing broke. Don't worry. All right, now put this in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, okay, here we go. Bing, bang, boom. Now that is some macaroni and cheese, everyone. Try cutting it with a knife. Oh, oh, yeah, look at that. Mm. Oh, that looks, that looks amazing. It's, it's gonna be so god dang delicious. 
Now, I mean, this should be like a side dish kind of thing, but if you're not eating it as a side dish and you're eating it as a dish in and of itself, this generally serves about four people. Okay, let's get a nice, good slice of it. Oh yeah, okay, okay. And there you go, everyone. Delicious macaroni and cheese baked style. Go ahead and try just a little bit of it. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There we go. Mm. That's what I'm freaking talking about, people. That is some good, delicious crap right there. Thank you for watching, everyone. Truly do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Twitch and all that, and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.